Hello everybody. What's going on? I'm back. Uh, it's been a while. So I got a bootleg Famicom. Uh, it's actually really nice. Uh, Famicom and the PlayStation 2 are like my two favorite consoles, in case you guys didn't know that. Um, I know I'm supposed to be Mr. PlayStation, but you know, the Famicom is just a really beautiful looking machine. You know, just in, in general, I like it. I, I even have a Famicom backpack somewhere. I can't find a PlayStation 2 backpack. I really, I really, really want one of those. Uh, but this is a real one, a legit Famicom. I have it wrapped up and um, keep the, the dust and bugs out. And this is a, one I got from Temu. You'll see these all over Temu. It's a Famicom Compact. Uh, it says right here, FC Compact, built-in games. And it says no Famicom game, or the Famicom game, or the FC game. So uh, it's Japanese. Famicom game, and family game entertainment. I'm using a tripod, so this is really weird for me. Uh, dual joysticks, AV output, supports cartridge and built-in games. Again, classic vintage game. It says, it says game in Japanese. I don't know why they just put half-ass Japanese and half-ass English. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's got turbo buttons. This one did not come with the yellow cartridge. I didn't get that. And I already have it hooked up, so uh, the AV cables are hooked to my TV. I tested it. And it does work. So, side. It's the same thing all around. It's just the same packaging. It's, I'm, I'm actually going to keep the box because I really, really like this. Uh, some other, I think it's, what's, uh, so, some other YouTuber did a video. I forgot his name. And, um, see, this is how they get you with the packaging. Watch this. All the wires and shit are on the bottom. So, you got to be very careful pulling this out. This wasn't, it, it didn't come wrapped up. This is exactly how it was. I just took out the AV cord and the um, system and just plugged it in. Instruction booklet on a single piece of toilet paper. Let's see this. Luz de Lala Pistola Cinta de Juego. Oh, shit. And I guess these are the other consoles they sell. You can pause and take a look at that. It's very interesting. I'm going to keep all the packaging, because I like to keep everything in the box, that's how I am. These are turbo controllers, you see, they got turbo buttons up here. Uh, I was testing out the one controller, and to make any kind of press, you got to put a lot of pressure on the actual D-pad. Uh, you, you, you can see the real controller and the fake one. The, this, the, the volume uh, Controller 2 has a volume knob, okay, and a speaker, so when you play Zelda, uh, you can just blow in the controller or scream into it or some shit. I don't know. There's only a handful of games that actually use this, so not really a big deal. Oh, you little cunt, you little commander. Yeah. See, I was planning on modding my Famicom so I can get it to run AV, but it's a lot of work, and I really don't want to do that. So I was like, you know, eventually I'll find something that could play Famicom games because I see all these Famicom like machines, these FC machines they sell at the, my local game store. They have a whole shit ton of them, but they don't actually play Famicom cartridges like this. I keep them in bags. Uh, they don't play the cartridges, so I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Why would you sell them? You, you, like. You might hear my, my roommates making weird noises. They're probably having hillbilly sex. But, um, so here you go. Uh, this is a little shorter in terms of the controllers, like right here. Yeah, let's. If you can see that, right there. The back of it uh, has a barrel plug and AV. That's it. No switches, no HDMI. I've seen these with HDMI in the back. Someone that did one, I uh, think had micro USB, or that was on Tenmu. The listing on Tenmu had a micro USB slot over here on the back. I was like, oh, God, I hope, it is. I hope it's not micro USB. And this is actually the same shitty little power plug you can get on eBay or Amazon. They sell these individual. It has a light in it, a red light, and you plug it in. And I bought a Super Famicom a while back ago, a used one. 
I just wanted something to play Street Fighter 2 on. And uh, it had the same exact plug. Very hollow. But it, it gets the job done. Uh, yeah, so that's just, that's what it looks like. If you're curious and you want to get one, buy one. Yes, it is a good machine. It's very heavy. It has weight to it. But only problem, this is, this is nice. But when you put a cartridge in, God help you. This power switch, now watch this. It's very spongy and squished. That's not that's not because of the circuitry of the mechanism. It's the actual housing. It gets in the way, the build quality. Uh, when they assembled it. So, I might have to take it apart and fix that. I was watching a video uh, about this before. The guy that had the HDMI version. He was talking about that. Uh, it could be fixable. You might have to shape the plastic down. Put a Mahjong game in. I love Mahjong. Fits right in, right? Good. Okay, a little loose, but you know, watch this. See, it goes halfway. Yeah, you really gotta put fucking pressure on that, and you gotta break the thing to get that out. And I don't like doing that. It has games built in, um, but if you have one of these, these little crappy Famicom players that use the little Nokia battery, uh, they have these on Temu as well. This is like six bucks. I actually had a coupon because my package got delivered late one time and I got this for free. So it's basically the same thing. The same as that games that are in this are on inside the chip on here. It's basically a Famicom cartridge all in one on a chip. And uh, I'll show you again. Watch. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Look at that. I'm not even fucking with you. You got to put a lot of pressure to get this thing out. But, um, yeah, that's, that's the infamous uh, Temu Famicom. If you want to get one, go for it. This was $35, I believe. Yeah, it was $35. Uh, it was worth every penny. I like it for what it is. Very good quality plastic. Very very nicely built. You probably could use this for parts for a real one, I suppose. But, um, yeah, that's, that's it. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and I'll... See you in my next, my next Temu knockoff game video, mate. They're still having hillbilly sex. Listen. Yeah, whatever. Okay, bye.